السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته الحمد لله وكفى والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله أما بعد My dear respected elders, brothers, teachers, today I would like to talk to you about Iman. Specifically, I want to talk about the things that cause the kafiyat or the state of our Iman to weaken. But my main goal through talking about the things that cause our Iman to weaken is to gain, is to fix these issues and to strengthen our Iman. We all know that the state of our Iman uh, goes up and down. What do I mean by it goes up and down? The state of our Iman goes up, the, uh, goes up with the more acts of worship we do, and it goes down with the more sins we commit. So what are these things that causes the state of our Iman to weaken? First, the first reason is the ignorance of the names, uh, is the ignorance of the attributes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. When we do not know and not understand the names and the attributes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, such as ar razak He is the one who provides. When we do not know and understand what ar razak means, we do not know that our provisions and our risks have been decreed from for us for, from when we were four months old in our mother's womb. Because of our ignorance of the name of ar razak we try to accumulate more and more wealth, not knowing that we won't get anything more or less than what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has decreed for us. No matter how much we run after the dunya or, the, uh, or money, we will, not, we will only get that, w that which has been written for us. Thus, if we understand what our razak means, we understand that our risks have already been decreed and a person won't die until he has, he has received what, he, what has been decreed. Similarly, not knowing that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is al-basir, not knowing what al-basir means, the all-seeing, will make us think that if we look at haram, if we watch haram, if we do any kinds of acts of disobedience or any kind of sin, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is not watching us. So, the first reason our iman weakens is being ignorant about the attributes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Secondly, obviously committing a lot of sins. The more sins we commit, the more stains the heart, there are on the heart. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, told us that every time you commit a sin, a black spot goes on the heart, and the iman is from the heart, and, and the iman is in the heart. So the, so the more we commit sins, the darker our heart is, and the harder it is for our heart to accept the guidance, and that would lead, lead to the weakness of iman. Thirdly, failing to do acts of worship, failing to pray on time, or failing to pray at all. Some people do not even pray, and they wonder why their iman is weak. They do not pray, they do not, they do not have any relationship with the Qur'an, they do not fast, and they do not give any kind of charity. The further we are from committing our duties to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the weaker our iman gets. Fourth, distancing ourselves from the mas masajid, from the halakas of ilm, from the circles of studies, and uh, studying the Qur'an or, and studying the deen. The more we stay away from these kinds of environments, the weaker our iman gets. So when we go and listen to these lectures, when we learn, listen to the khutbas, we might hear something that will increase our iman, our iman, because all these lectures, all these talks are like fuel that boost our iman. So when we are away from them, obviously our iman is weaker. Fifth, excessive eating, drinking, sleeping, and staying up at night all lead to the iman getting weaker. Excessive laughter, Rasulullah said, do not laugh a lot, much laughter causes the heart to die. Laughter is good in moderation, but when we make our life a mockery and la and laugh laughing and joking, jo uh, joking that will cause the heart to die. And when the heart is dead, it will lead to the weakness of iman. Lastly, the main reason of Im of the main reason for the weakness of iman is the love and the addiction to dunya. All the concerns are dunya, dunya, dunya. There's nothing except dunya in the person's heart. When dunya occupies the heart, the iman gets out of the heart. So these are some of the reasons that would lead to the person to have weakness of iman. To summarize, the main reason that, are, that weaken our iman, we said the ignorance of the attributes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, committing a lot of sins, failing to do acts of worship, distancing ourselves from the masajids and the halakas of ilm, excessive, excessively doing something like eating, drinking, sleeping, etc., and lastly, the love and the addiction of dunya. I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with the best of his names to increase the state of our iman, to increase us all in iman and to bring us closer to him.